Ali here at mindwavemeditation.com and today we are going to create the definitive simple plan for cruising through the holidays and starting the new year super strong. So keep watching this video if you want some extra tips to help you just glide into the new year with momentum instead of ah uh, what's this year gonna do i hope it's good you know that's that's the old mentality we're past that now we want to start the new year going i know exactly what i'm doing i know what i'm here to do and ain't no year gonna get in the way of my vision and goals so if this resonates with you and you want to start the year strong and also end the year feeling accomplished and happy and content it's the official way of saying content then keep watching this video and if you want to be a total legend subscribe click the like let us know how you're feeling share it all that jazz bang all right we can breeze through this one this is simple number one tie up all loose ends what Ever is in your life that can be done, easily finished, easily completed, make a list and just get it done. Also, while you're doing this, don't put too much on that list. We kind of get to the end of the year and we're like, I've got to do all the things. I've got to do all the things because if I don't do all the things, then what? What's going to happen? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, you miss a few little bits here and there. You're a human being, I'm presuming. So honor that and realize, look at the time from now till the end of the year and realistically go, what am I going to be able to get done? Create that list and one by one, just crush each thing. Just get the job done, just JFDI. And once we've tied up all our loose ends, we can really go into the holidays and unplug and just be wherever we need to be, do whatever we're doing, whoever with, whether it's on your own, it doesn't matter. You've got the year done. That's the main thing. So it's no longer, you know, coming at all angles. Because what's going to happen is, at the end of the year, naturally, you start thinking, did I get everything done? Did I do all the things? Do I feel good about myself? Da -da 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 -da. That's that year. And then this year starts creeping in. Oh, we've got all this to do. What are you going to do next year? Da -da -da -da. And it's just the same story, as we said before, the past and the future coming to take over your mind. And presence is the key. So in this case, we use presence to allow ourselves to enjoy a bit of resting time at you know the holiday period which is this this is the next year this is last year this year right and we want to have this section for ourselves our family our friends whatever and this is what's really important so it's just a case of creating that list going through and then tapping out of this you did it you did all you could, you did as well as you could. Maybe you didn't do as well as you could. Maybe you were a little bit lazy. Maybe you were a little bit confused. Maybe you were struggling real hard. Maybe you were, you know, really going through it. Maybe you had some trauma. Maybe you had some, you know, grief to deal with. Maybe you had a lot on your plate. So this list could be as simple as get through get through this year get make it make it to the holidays it could be simply that or it could be a list of 10 things that you absolutely need to do to get things done you're either a list person or you're not you either just go through life and it's just things are coming in and you, you, you know it works or you know you fall into a few traps here and there or you're a list person where you write down this list and then you either do it or you don't so what I want to really share with you is break down this list, but be honest with yourself. I've met so many people who create lists and then they have lists about lists and they don't get through the lists and they just cause themselves so much pain. So what I like to do is have a list that says, 
how would I feel if I dot 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 and then write down the things you want to do. It's the same thing, it's a to-do list, but just the title changes something up here and makes me go, oh, what does it say? How would I feel if I washed up? I don't know, probably, actually I could listen to my podcast when I wash up. I enjoy the podcast. Okay. I think I'd feel good if I washed up. This is another thing. I found a little loophole. Brushing your teeth, a bit boring. Something we do every day. Squats, don't like them. No time for them. Don't enjoy exercise unless I'm really you know, climbing on something or doing something or there's some kind of reward. Squats, not so much. So what I did was I combined the two. Squats and toothbrush. <laughs> this is me. This is me doing my teeth. Absolutely love it. It makes me smile, it makes me laugh. I do it in the mirror as well. Just sort of look at myself, dead in the eye, serious face, and I get going. <laughs> I just get going. And I do, I don't know, 50 squats, 60 squats, clean teeth, thighs of steel. Working on my bum, you see, my bum's just flat. It's, it's embarrassing, so I needed to figure this out. Same thing with the washing up. No time for washing up. Never liked washing up. It was just boring, could be doing something else. Then I realized, a couple of headphones in, listen to my favorite podcast, learn something, study whatever I'm studying, clean those dishes, sometimes do some mantra, tap out. I love you, thank you, please forgive me. I'm sorry. Mani pad me hum, nami orange kia, whatever. Combine stuff, make it work for you. Make the boring things work for you. That's, that's definitely one of my favorite things to do. So what we're gonna do is number one, we're gonna create a list of all the things you need to do. Big list or small list, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you've got at least a handful of things on that list that you know you'll feel really, really great about by the end of the year if you complete them. Number two, okay, this is similar. It's kind of branching out of number one. So you've done all the, the things you have to do, let's say, all the things that, you know, get presents, wrap them, finish up work stuff, um, all the stuff. Now this one is an inner cleaning process. This is the great cleanup. Now, the certain things that as the year goes on, stuff just builds up. Um, you're either on this stuff or you're not. And if you're not, then this stuff builds up. We're talking about photos on your phone, uh, stuff on your desktop, all over the place. Just every time you open that laptop, you're seeing a million different files. Data, 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 data. Distraction, distraction, distraction. If you're one of those people, whoa. It's, it can be too much. And if you're walking around feeling overwhelmed, stressed, anxious, then look at your desktop. Look at your phone, the photos. Look at the, the amount of videos you've got in your phone. Is it all just stacked up? You're skimming through to try and find something and you're sifting through thousands, thousands of images. Nobody, let me repeat that, nobody Unless you are a professional photographer on a shoot, you don't need 5,000 photos. I could, I could put money on it that 4,000 of those photos are utter garbage, uh, off, uh, you know, random shots that in the moment you're like, I'll deal with it later, but, you, but we don't. So we have hard drives, we have photos, we have desktop, we have the car filled with stuff. If you've got kids, kids stuff. And then there's like takeaways or coffees, just stuff. We've got clothes that just pile up. We're, you know, so fortunate to have all these things. But what we do is we allow them to build up. And if we allow them to build up and we can physically see them with our eyes, 
then that is all up here. It's all stored. Whether you consciously think about that or know that, it's there, it's up there. If you can see it, it's up there. If it's behind that desktop and you know it's there, it's up there. And all of this stuff is just kind of keeping us at a low level of anxiety. The hands are moving for vibration. Like it's like, ah, oh, what is all this stuff? It's all your stuff. So what I invite you to do is make another list, number two, and decide what all this stuff is. And if you can go through and commit to cleaning up, say you've got 5,000 photos, delete half of them. If you've got stuff all over your desktop, put it in folders, organize it. If your hard drive is just then why not decide by the end of the year to go through all of those pictures, all of those files and organize them, just get them cleaned up and you'll feel a bagazillion times better. That's right, a bagazillion. It's a new word because you've never felt this good before. We need a new word, a bagazillion. Um, <laughs> okay, so what? Hard drive, photos, clothes, desktop, car, shelves, do we have a bags with stuff in? Do we have cupboards with just loads of stuff in? Do we have a garage or a garage with loads of stuff in? By the end of this year, decide to go through all of those things, clean them, so you can walk into this new year feeling like a new person with no baggage of the past. You've got, you've done all that you needed to do. You've cleaned up all you needed to clean up. Now you're ready for number three. <laughs> number three, just in case you didn't get that from that. Number three is something I practice on a regular basis. And it's making amends with those you love, those you care about, anybody in your circle of friendship, uh, work colleagues, um, people in your past, whatever. <laughs> now you're either one of two people. You either go through life and people come and go and you generally have good relationships. You get on with people and sometimes you might have little heated debates or debates or even arguments, but you resolve them and you move on and you never go to sleep angry and you have harmonious relationships with people. And generally, life's a breeze. And funnily enough, when you're this type of person, you, how do I say it? All right, the normal way of saying it is, you tend not to get into arguments with other people because you're thinking a certain way and you're not looking for it. So we generally sidestep if they appear and you don't taunt and tease people because you don't ultimately want to have debates and arguments. So, you know, you get your point across and you harmoniously go through life and it's kind of a bit of a breeze on that front. The kind of hippie way, the hippie sprinkles, would be the deep um, quantum science and the hippie stuff kind of aligns because it says you manifest what you think about. And if you, have harmonious relationships, you will attract more harmonious relationships because you are vibrating at a certain frequency which attracts more of that. So if you're depressed and negative and you're you know, always bitching and moaning and complaining, guess what? Look around. Do you have lots of people that you do that with? Yeah, you probably do because you, you're in it. You love it. You do it. And those of you who don't, you know the difference. You know the difference and you can hear the difference when you hear people complaining and gossiping and you're not doing it. It's so apparent. So two types of people. And look, I've been both types of people and slip in, you know, in and out. Sometimes we all do. It's just life. But you're one of those two people. Now, all I ask you to do as a favor to me is finish your year by making amends with anybody you can. 
obviously if this is going to bring up some big heavy stuff right before the end of the year don't bother wrong timing do it next year really think it through if you need to apologize to people and it's really going to shake some stuff up and potentially cause a lot of badness don't do it don't do it wrong time but if it's little things if you have if there's anything that you, you can bring to someone that's going to make them smile, make them feel happy that you brought it up, maybe tell a family member that you love them, a friend that you care for them or love them too, or, you know, maybe a secret love interest that you've just kind of been tiptoeing around and not really saying what you want to say. Get the job done. Why not? One life. One life end of the year new year whoa you could start that new year with them it's such a wonderful feeling to not have any beef with anybody to not have any enemies not have any movies playing over and over and you get again what they said or what you would say you know oh god i remember doing that for years replaying the, the movie of what I would say and what they once said two years ago and how I would edit the ending and change it and come off better. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. So go through and really think about it. Who can you safely apologize to, make amends with, or offer some good advice, or just create harmony in every area of your life? Basically, we want to end this year strong. So we've done everything we needed to do. We've cleaned up. You see, I did that, I don't swear. We've cleaned up everything that we can clean up so we feel clean, fresh, and reset. And then three, we've made amends. We've said our apologies. We've given our advice, sent our love, sent our gratitude and thanks. And we are now in a place where we are vibrating harmoniously with ourselves, with our environment and with each other. And that's awesome. So there's a secret one. If you want to go all in and you've seen my videos recently, there's the big one. If you want to start your year knowing exactly who you are, where you're going, what you're doing, what, you, what you're going to get out of this next year, what you're going to discover, what's in the future beyond next year, then click the link below and check out Dare to Discover. Dare to Discover You and make next year just the greatest year that you've ever, ever lived. I mean, it's a big statement, but it's true. I honestly, honestly guarantee that if you do Dare to Discover and you take it on, and you invest in this time, it's only two hours to take on the information and then maybe another couple of hours on top of that to do the simple work. Your life will be profoundly transformed, guaranteed. So let me know down below if you take that on and uh, let me know down below if you have taken it on and you enjoyed it to inspire others. Um, I have a little group called Be Your Own Guru on my Facebook page if you want to join that. That's at Mind Wave Meditation. I'll see you in the next one with some more awesomeness. But if you do any of these things, let me know. I'd love to hear about your story and connect with you. And I'll see you soon. Take care.